guys, welcome to the weirdest and happiest place on YouTube. Ever since I uploaded my vlog, I've gotten so many comments asking, we are where is the get ready with me? I know it took a little longer than it should have, but I'm here and I'm gonna be showing you all this super like glowy, dewy, just like flushed natural look. There's also something super tragic that happened around the end of this video. Uh, still kind of not over it, still super upset about it. Yeah, y'all will see it. But before you do, just be sure you're subscribed and you have your notifications on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. And don't worry, I got you along with my makeup. I'm also gonna be showing you all like my hair and my outfit. So you're gonna have to excuse my skin. Um, <laughs> It's really not doing well lately. We're gonna fix it anyway. So I always, always, always start by moisturizing. You guys already know this if you've ever like seen any of my makeup videos. So the key for going for like a natural, like glowy look is focusing more on your skin. With every makeup look, I try to make like one feature pop, like really pop. And with this look, it's uh, usually like my skin. Like I want it to look really like glowy. So obviously my base is really, really important. I'm not entirely sure about my shades. I'm gonna try my best to like find out what they are and put them in the description. But when I do go for like a full coverage, natural look, I usually use both of these. Um, I have the YSL foundation and the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Now obviously you don't like have to splurge on like foundations like these, but these are my staples. The Makeup Forever foundation is a little lighter for my skin. I take this foundation and I focus it on the middle on, of my face, uh, more of like the high points. And then I take the YSL foundation, which is a little teensy bit darker. And I use this like around my face, like on the outward areas. So once I like blend all of it together you already have like a natural contour i'm just gonna go in with my <laughs> smashbox primer water so i i don't know what the deal is gonna be with this video but i'm almost positive it's gonna go up late okay here's the deal guys so i'm like i'm a perfectionist especially when it comes to like creative things it legit like takes me at least a week to get like a video looking exactly how i want it so i really don't understand how people can like film a video like one day and then upload it the next like I think it's because like I put like a lot of like detail into it like all my title intros that you'll see I literally make them like from scratch all by myself but I'm really gonna try and work on that this year because I do want to be super consistent okay so the foundation looks pretty blended in now I'm I guess I'm gonna use concealer I honestly never know where my makeup tutorials are going I think that's why maybe like I always turn them into get ready with me is because if you're like just getting ready with me I really can't be doing like anything wrong also just because i'm like so crusty i always also take like a little bit of moisturizer to mix in with my concealer right under my eyes but no guys like genuinely i need to do something about my uploading like this thing i take way too much time like refilming things like small things like if my like hair is super messy in a video like really annoys me and then i have to refilm the whole thing because of that i oh, don't know i think i just need to like plan stuff better for my eyebrows i always use the balm eyebrow powder i've been using this ever since like i started doing my eyebrows and this eyebrow specifically doesn't have an arch so i'm gonna draw that on okay so once the eyebrows are all set um for the eyes i'm gonna do something really really minimum i'm just gonna mix the colors rustic and burnt orange super lightly like you want to take like as little as possible if you don't have these then you can just use your bronzer i think that works like equally well so once it's all blended in i always take a little bit of a highlighty shade and put it in my inner corner also right under my eyebrow and i'm zooming it all out but i just realized that i completely forgot this part before i start on with any of my makeup i uh usually first go in with my max strobe cream it's basically like a shimmer base if you want glowy makeup i definitely recommend buying this i'm in the shade peach okay so now it's time for contour i usually like do this in two steps i'm just gonna use the Too faced chocolate solia right under my cheekbones I don't know why I'm out of breath. This is looking really harsh, but basically I just use this to really carve out my cheekbones. You guessed it, my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. We're gonna take like a fluffier angled brush and I'm really gonna go off with this. Like I really wanna look like a bronzed goddess. And while you're doing this, it also like blends the contour out so it's not gonna be as harsh. So let's talk about being 18. How is adulthood treating me so far? I mean, it's been pretty much the same. Uh, 
Stella Clarts Stella Mass. I'm gonna use this lipstick. It's it's a Estee Lauder lipstick. The color pure color envy. Just like put that on there. And this might seem super weird. I'm also gonna be using the same color on my lips. I just think it looks way more like realistic when your cheek and lip color matches. I've come to the conclusion that get ready with me is are super boring when you have nothing to talk about. So I'm gonna talk to you all about my 2018 goals. 2019. Okay, wow. I I really I need to get my shit together. But honestly, it seems so weird that it's already 2019. I'm gonna go on with some more blush. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Cheeky Glow. I've been loving blush recently. <laughs> okay, it cracks me up how I, uh, how I have to like fix my to do my blush. Like, oh god. It's also my awkward face, by the way. Put me in a social situation and. This is gonna be my face, really. Ask my friends. Now I'm gonna do something that I haven't done for a long time. Did it on my actual birthday, and I liked how it looked, so I'm gonna include it in this look. Lining my eyes. To do that, I'm just gonna use the Lacme, Lacme, Lacme liquid liner. It's like the sketch pen looking thing, the thinnest line possible. Like it shouldn't even look like eyeliner. It should just look like my lash line. That is what I'm aiming for. Okay, so maybe just don't try the eyeliner bit uh, unless, unlike me, you're really good at it and you won't mess it up. <laughs> why, why do I always do this? New Year's goal number one: I need to learn how to do my eyeliner. Whatever, I'm just not gonna get into it. Um, then I'm gonna use the the the, the Lan Lancome Lancome. I'm trying out so many new brands. So one thing I'm really gonna try and do this year is like talk to more people. So you already know I like really struggled with social anxiety growing up. Like I I think I have a really good set of like close friends, but that's pretty much like it. Never talk to new people or like try to start conversations. I, I'm just super awkward and I can't. You can always learn something from someone. So that pretty much works. Remember what what I forgot to do. Wow. <gasps> no! Oh my god, my literally my cup. This is literally the worst thing that could happen to me. I spent the past 20 minutes scrubbing the highlight of the floor and putting it into this little thing. This feels like one of those really like annoying, satisfying videos where they destroy makeup. I'm honestly so mad right now. I literally just filmed a video yesterday talking about how much I love that product. I think I'm gonna have a full-on mental breakdown. This, this is what I'm left with. That's it. I'm, I'm still gonna use it, but like whatever. For my lip color, I'm gonna be using the same thing I used on my cheeks, and it's the Estee Lauder lipstick and on top of that I'm gonna use Estee Lauder lip gloss it's in the same shade as the lipstick next step was supposed to be highlight but clearly we already have it everywhere so I'm just gonna touch it up a little my 2019 goal is to not break anything I'm not gonna break anything. okay I look I look so upset I need to get over this so I might have gotten a little like too extra sorry for like the melodramatic mess I was Whatever, I'm over it. I saved it. There's still plenty left. This is the makeup. I'm super happy with how it turned out. If there are any other requests, any other makeup looks you'll want me to do, leave them down below. As for hair, it's gonna be linked down below, but I've shown it in like how I style my hair. Very like lightly curled some pieces. They ended up in these like really like loose like waves. I've really been loving doing my hair like this. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all. Really hope you enjoyed this look. And if you haven't, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.